XR Access Logo, a person with arms and legs outstretched inside of two orbiting arrows. Tagline reads, Virtual, Augmented, and Mixed Reality for People with Disabilities. My name is Jesse Anderson, and uh, I'm currently living in uh, St. Paul, Minnesota right now. I work as an assistive technology specialist with State Services for the Blind here in Minnesota. I have been legally blind since birth. Uh, I actually got my first VR experience, believe it or not, in 1995. Footage from virtual reality in the 1990s shows blocky avatars engaging in arena combat. Uh, I was doing, um, I was part of a group out at the University of Washington uh, called the Do It Program, and we were out there doing some stuff on the University of, Wa University of Washington campus. And one night we got to see an early virtual reality lab, um, and they had this ginormous, I mean, it was huge. It was like this ginormous headset prototype. A suited man puts on a ginormous VR helmet. That was like mounted to the ceiling um, because it was just like, you, you could not wear that on your head. It was just ginormous. I really caught back up with VR in, well, right before the Oculus Rift came out. And I wanna say that was like 2016 or so. Literally the first thing that they had you do when you take it out of the box, I couldn't do. I had to have sighted assistance. Like I knew exactly what I was supposed to do, but I just couldn't do it. Screenshot reads, pair your headset with the Oculus mobile app to continue setup and a five digit code. So luckily uh, across the hall, I, I sort of knew that the neighbor across the hall I knocked on her door and I was like, uh, this might sound weird, but can you put this headset on and read me the number? There's an app that was unfortunately only in development in the research lab for a little while through Microsoft, and it was called Seeing VR. Footage from Seeing VR shows features like an adjustable magnifier, making it easier to see a virtual castle chamber. Seeing VR was a suite of accessibility tools that was working with some Unity apps and it would add things like high contrast themes, it would add a magnifier, it added text-to-speech, it added a thing where if I was pointing at something with a laser pointer, it would read me what I was pointing at. I saw that and when I saw that demonstration, it was like a seven minute video and I'm just like, man, if they would add this type of suite into, um, a, like a VR platform, like I want that yesterday. There are some shortcomings in a few areas, but even if it's not perfect, do what you can. Jesse Anderson's social media information, which can be found in the description below. XR Access Logo, a person with arms and legs outstretched inside of two orbiting arrows. Tagline reads, virtual, augmented, and mixed reality for people with disabilities.